Hi, everyone. Um, so I wanted to give you a little bit more color on what ZeroHash is. Um, and we've got some announcements that we're making today. Um, so what ZeroHash is, is essentially the building blocks for post-trade settlement, which basically means everything that happens after a trade occurs. Um, so at this point, we have over a dozen different platforms, including payment processes. Um, we have um, RFQ platforms, OTC desks. Um, we have Lightning wallets, all leveraging um, zero hash for everything that happens post-trade or post-transaction. Um, so today we announced that two of the biggest um, OTC desks um, based in Chicago, CMT Digital and Blue Fire Trading, that between them um, do hundreds of millions of dollars a day, have integrated zero hash into their post-trade settlement. Um, what does post-trade settlement actually mean? And why does it really matter to the space? Um, really what ZeroHash does is three main things. Uh, one is calculation of positions. Um, and that might sound kind of dry um, and somewhat simple. Um, but really, you've got to think about it um, on scale. So what we do is we settle transactions, whether those transactions be spot transactions, forward transactions, options transactions, lending transactions, or single-sided transactions um, that payment processes use. So if you think about it, um, with a forward transaction, um, you are moving money, whether that be crypto, and we can um, hold and settle over a dozen different types of digital assets, and over 20 different types of fiat assets, um, that movement occurs on a regular basis. And we provide maximum customization um, for the management of your counterparty risk. Second is settlement. Um, so interestingly, the term money transmitter, money service business, is bounced around quite a bit. Um, but really what is regulated in the United States is everything that happens post-trade. So the match of a trade, for example, if you're a platform, um, matching a trade is actually not regulated in 49 out of the 50 states. And people say to me, well, how do you know this? Well, we operate our own matching entity, and we have our settlement entity, ZeroHash. And ZeroHash is the regulated entity. Except the one exception is New York. And that's one of the quirks. And that's the reason why, as a group, we actually hold two bit licenses. Because both the match and the settlement are regulated. But in the other 49 states, the only thing that is regulated is the settlement piece. And so really, you can think of ZeroHash as a gateway um, for access into the United States and expanding your business into the US. Finally is custody. We act as an on-ramp and off-ramp for over 20 different types of fiat currencies. So when we talk about OTC desks, they're doing a couple of things, and they trade in slightly different ways. And everybody likes to do things differently in this space. Um, one of the main models that people use is an agency model, whereby you're not the counterparty to the trade. And that's a pretty straightforward position, whereby you're just basically matching a buyer and a seller. And again, what's regulated in 49 out of the 50 states is not that actual match of the trade, but the actual settlement or the movement of assets post-trade. Secondly is a principal dealer model, whereby as an OTC desk, you actually are the buyer or the seller. And one of the things that you can do with zero hash is to actually net out positions. Um, and net in, in this instance is very straightforward. And you can see the benefit is you simply collect the delta, the spread, um, without actually needing to do anything manual. So it's completely automated. Imagine this now across 100 different counterparties. Imagine this across 100 different types of products that people are trading. The whole system nets out the obligations that you have. And so rather than you needing to manage all 100 counterparties on a bilateral basis, you are sending one deposit in, you're sending one wire in, and ZeroHash distributes it across all of your different counterparties in an automated fashion. So in terms of calculation, um, like I mentioned, we support um, 20 different types of fiat currencies and can support fiat to fiat, crypto to crypto, or 
fiat to crypto. And what this calculation does is for spot transactions, we can allow people to actually set different margins for different counterparties based on the risk profile that you have established. And what's really interesting about this space is how it evolves. So right now, we've heard that the Chicago Merck is going to be releasing options early next year. And I think that will grow the bilateral options market. But what's complex is that management of those positions on a regular basis. And so ZeroHash can be your partner to expand into forwards, swaps, exotic products, which are very prevalent right now, including knockouts, um, and loans. And I think the loan space is particularly interesting. Um, there's obviously a lot of different things being done in this space, and there is potentially a lot of risk um, with loans, especially if you're collateralizing, for example, in the underlying digital asset. And so what our system does is that it manages risk um, in real time and allows you to manage that counterparty risk in real time, especially during periods of high volatility that we've seen over the past 24 hours. Regulation. So zero hash is highly regulated. That is critical to operate in the United States. Um, and that's critical to know what is regulated and what's not. So zero hash is regulated at the federal level by FinCEN and at a state level as well by each state. And so zero hash has 35 money transmission licenses and can operate in upwards of 40 states. As well, it also holds a bit license with the New York Department of Financial Service. Why is automated settlement interested in particular for our announcement today around OTC desks? Well, what it does is it reduces operational overhead. Imagine if you have 100 different counterparties, some of which you trade with frequently, some of which you trade with infrequently. And increasingly, the OTC market is becoming increasingly automated in the sense that rather than pinging someone on Skype or on Telegram, the way that you actually trade is over API. So the execution is really automated, but you're still having to manage each of your relationships in a very manual process. And so Zero Hash automates the entire settlement piece and it allows the settlement part of the trade to be equally automated as the execution piece. Next is net deliveries. So it's about increasing capital efficiency. We all know that people trade across a whole host of OTC providers, a whole host of exchanges. And so in a sense, I can be net flat, I can buy and I can sell, but I actually am having to post double collateral with each of my counterparties. This netting increases capital efficiency, which allows you to trade more with the capital that you have. Thirdly is dynamic rebalancing. And this is a particular pain point, for example, in Japan, where the movement of assets is difficult. Um, and also, if you're trading across different time zones, because the banking partners that you use close. With our system, you can dynamically rebalance across all of your counterparties 24 hours a day. Finally is collateral feeds. There is significant counterparty risk in the system, and we do provide escrow services. But escrow services is not just enough, because I may have agreed on a certain price with you, and I may have offset that position with somebody else. So I sold you a Bitcoin, and I went out to the market and bought the Bitcoin, and I'm trying to capture that spread. But if you walk away, I've essentially taken a long position. So how do you mitigate that? You can ask counterparties to post collateral in the system, and you can set that collateral depending on the amount of trust that you have with that counterparty. And if you walk away, in a sense default, that collateral is there to cover the net exposure. So that's all I have for today. So we are ZeroHash, and um, you can look us up at zerohash.com. Thank you.